the Elite 11 Finals saw 24 of the nation's best quarterbacks compete against their peers over three days. But the Elite 11 process has so much more to offer. This is one of the greatest competitors that's ever competed at any sport. Good. Players experienced greatness with three-time Olympic gold medalist yeah. Kerry Walsh Jennings. Straight arms on, straight. What you guys are going through is priceless. Enjoy it. Be here. Do not squander it. Oh. And they learned from those who came before them, like Elite 11 alum Josh Rosen. Try to understand and kind of map out where you want to head in social media because you should be very conscientious of what you're doing with that. But now, it's about learning who moves on and whose journey, unfortunately, will end. Part of this was easy because our studs coming in verified that they're studs. And, you know, you can talk about the order of them, but Trevor Lawrence, to me, no brainer. When you just look at the measurables of Trevor Lawrence, it kind of pops out. 6'6", 210 pounds. His NFL comparable, if at the high school level you got to see him, would probably be a Joe Flacco type of player. My goal coming here originally was to be the top guy. I mean, it still is, but actually being here and hearing what they've had for us, it's more than football, and uh, I've had a great weekend. Oh, God. Oh, my no. goodness! That was a touchdown. I don't know who else can make that throw. Appreciate it. Uh, Justin Fields, Joey. Justin Fields, everything, he checks the box athletically, physically. That combination of size, speed, and ability to throw the football is rare. His ability to extend plays and his ability to create outside the pocket is very unique. He is a taller Russell Wilson. Nice touch, oh, yeah. Fields. Ooh. Nice touch, buddy. I'm just going to uh, continue to get better, and uh, hopefully I can do well in Oregon. Way to go, Justin! Bucky, you look at NFL guys, prospects. Am I crazy to think that Corral is a lot like Favre? It's funny you say Favre. I wrote him on notes, Matthew Staff. Oh, and the good. reason I said Matthew Stafford because his he arm. He rips fire all the time. I mean, he's a, he's a fastball pitcher. Good ball, man! And the one thing that I wanted to see during this process, I want to see if he could throw with timing and rhythm and anticipation. But now you saw him in the 707, the ball came out on time. He delivered it, he ripped it. Good check down. He did that in 707, and I think he's going to do it at the opening. That is the future of the game right there. University of Florida commit Matt Corral is going to make the 2017 Elite 11 class with no debate. proving himself as one of the best high school quarterbacks in the nation. But when he first started playing football as a youngster in Southern California, it was on the other side of the field. Okay. Matt was just a defensive guy. He didn't even play on offense. He was right there, 23 right there. And we were at practice and the ball went out from the distance and the coach said, hey Matt, throw me that ball. And then Matt picked the ball up and and the coach was like, oh, <laughs> this kid can throw. He didn't start playing only quarterback position until his freshman year when he got to Oaks Christian. Corral spent the first three years of high school playing at Oaks Christian in Westlake Village, California. The arm strength that coaches saw early on was on full display. During his career, Corral threw for over 7,500 yards and scored 91 all-purpose touchdowns. But senior year will offer a new look and a new school, 60 miles to the southeast. We moved to Long Beach in March, and um, Matt started uh, school at Long Beach Poly, and it's been good. Long Beach Poly is a Southern California football powerhouse, currently led by Super Bowl champion Antonio Pierce. 
long, long tradition. Most NFL guys in any high school in the U.S. Willie McGinnis, Deshaun Jackson, Mercedes Lewis, Jarrell Casey. You're talking about a lot of guys. We're all on the same mission. We all want to go to the NFL. Get a break, get a break. Spread right, 500, double comeback. I want to one, ready? Hey, do hippo, do hippo. Set! I'm blessed with an appetite for excess. Came from the bottom to an exec. Down! They're preparing me for a pro-style offense. It's going to get me ready for college. Yes! So I can hopefully one day play in the NFL. It's a beautiful thing to chase dreams. Most refuse to do it, they just chase me. Thank you, Matt Corral. He can be a guy that in 10 years we're talking about at the highest level. For the quarterbacks who went into day three on the bubble, seven on seven could make or break their Elite 11 hopes. Sean, carry on. Job, DJ. Wentz. Oh, hello. You're making this look too easy, DTR. Oh, yeah, D. That's what I'm talking about. Well, guys, you know, one of the big dilemmas of this week was Dorian Thompson Robinson, DTR. We didn't have the tape. We don't have the evidence. He backed up Tate Martell, one of the great high school quarterbacks ever. I go to Bishop Gorman High School, and I've been there since my freshman year. And uh, my sophomore year, Tate Martell is now at Ohio State. Balled out, and uh, I had to sit behind him. So I rarely had any game experience. My junior year, I played receiver a little bit. Here he is competing with a bunch of dudes that have great junior film, so we needed more data points. We needed more information. I came down here to prove something, prove that I can compete with the best since I haven't played in a varsity game. Just prove that I'm the best. How do you feel about yourself? Pretty good. I feel like a new person. Explain that a little bit. I wasn't really myself. I was trying to be somebody I really wasn't. Trying to be that kid that was Oh, I go to Bishop Gorman. I got this, I got that, I got this, I got that. Your combine interview is really revealing. It's more pressure on me when I get all this hype beforehand, and now I have to prove why I got it all. You got better the more pressure there was. You got yeah. better the more decisions you had to make. Oh, that's a dime! He came out and just shredded the seven on seven. OK, hello! So go. Got it, stealing, nice, good job. Hey, that was perfect. Earned his spot, the first uh, ever non-starter as a junior to be an Elite 11 quarterback. You're not just in, dude, you can go win the MVP. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. yeah, you told me I got invited. I'm definitely gonna go out there and do what I did here and just be myself, and I'm, I'm ready to go tear it up in Oregon. The next big decision for the staff is to carry in Joyner. Winner at the competition ranked number five. He struggled the first couple of days, but bounced back to have an impressive four drive, four touchdowns, seven on seven on the last day. I've always been honest, you always have like your love buttons, your favorite kids. I, I'd put Dakari and Joyner on the top. I loved his film. You can see the energy, you know, you can just see that NFL type juice that he has. His story is tragic. What he's had to go through with his father, with his three friends. Where I'm from in Charleston, the kind of violence is a, a big thing. But my first time losing my friend on Christmas Day, I didn't know how to react. And he carries himself as if nothing's ever happened in a negative way. Thinking back, I don't know how I managed to get through some of the things that I went through, but it was just kind of something in me that just digs deeper every time. 10 words or less, what was this week? Definitely life-changing, I think. And um, just a, a positive vibe. Good. You're a special kid, man. Thank I, I want to thank you for sharing what you shared with us. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'd be lying if I said I could understand it. Right. I can't. But I admire you and appreciate you for who you've become at a very young age. Thank you. Let me tell you what we did coming into this. We ranked all you guys. You're the fifth ranked kid. Yeah. We love you yes, sir. as a football player. You did not have your best weekend. Right. My problem is that 24 other kids saw you don't have your best weekend right. throw the ball. Yes, sir. 
So no matter how much I love you, right. and I believe if I took you to Oregon, you'd shred it, I just can't do it. Right. Unfortunately, he's not quite where some of these other guys are as a passer. It didn't stick right away, and it's not gonna stick right away. Um, so he struggled throwing the ball. Ah! I know I didn't have my best weekend, but um, my whole point was to come in and learn. I learned a lot, not only just football, but becoming a better version of me. It was a life-changing experience. Your timing actually got a lot better. Yes, sir. It was starting to click. If we gave you two more days, yeah, right? Yeah. I'll Look at that right. smile. Yeah. Two more days, and you're shredding it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. So yeah, I think DeCarian goes back with a really good taste in his mouth about Elite 11, and we'll come back and be a counselor. But we'll also use this experience that to motivate him when he goes off to college, be like, well, I'm also going to get to play against Lawrence. And guess what? When we do, I'm going to go off, because I remember Elite 11. And I'll text Coach Dilf right before the game and say, make sure you watch this one. Next, the staff must make a decision on Quincy Patterson was working hard to make the Elite 11 for his father back in Chicago. My dad has end-stage renal failure, which is kidney failure, essentially, and his kidneys are at zero uh, function. I literally had Quincy and his football to distract me from it. I was literally like, I'm going to stay on this ride for, until my wheels fall off. Patterson, despite his 6-foot, 3-inch, 220-pound frame, entered the finals ranked number 23 due to his run-heavy offense in high school. We all know the physical straights. But we also know that you have to pass. And then you watch the first rep, you're like, uh-oh, there has to be rapid acceleration. The question is, did Patterson do enough in the 49 hours to earn a spot in the Elite 11? What's up, Q? How you doing? <laughs> Give me 10 words or less on this weekend. A once in a lifetime experience. That makes me feel good, because th this was built for you, and let me give you some context to that. My first year was uh, Jameis Winston's year, and he was a raw athlete, run around guy, played baseball, long delivery, um, but you could just tell there was something great in him. And I told him that year, I said, you know, one day you're gonna win Heisman, one day you're gonna win a national championship, one day you're gonna win a Super Bowl. You're gonna do the same thing but it's not gonna be because you're 6'3", 235, and you're a great athlete. It's part of it, it's because you're brilliant. What you did today, you played from under center, which you've never done. You turned your back to the defense. You've never gone through progressions. You didn't know this playbook. This is all new, and you did it as well as guys that have done it forever. Just keep dealing, Q, just keep yes. dealing. On, wow! And you've ended up in the 11. You're coming to the Elite 11, buddy. That's good. You're coming to Oregon. You excited? Definitely, definitely. I like to do a smile. I was trying to talk about this coming out kind of early because I was smiling so hard, but I was definitely pumped. And you know, it's kind of a sigh of relief to find you know, that I am in the 11, you know, that's huge. The 2017 Elite 11 class is set. For many of the Elite 11 quarterbacks, who we'll all have NFL aspirations, they have yet to be introduced to football at its highest level. As a result, seven years ago, Student Sports introduced the opening, which is a week-long hybrid between NFL Combine, competition, and training camp. This is a once upon a time, prepare the throne because it's about to be mine. All Elite 11 quarterbacks attend, as well as the best skill position players from around the country. And at Nike World Headquarters in Portland, Oregon, they will battle for football supremacy. Try not to knock us off a stride, we just reaching our prime. No way to go but up. And this is our time, let's get it. This is a special, special week. And each one of you have definitely earned the right to be here. You are the Elite 11. This week is about who's gonna be the MVP.
The same selection process that we took throughout the country to determine the top quarterbacks, we did that for skill positions, cornerbacks, safeties, linebackers, wide receivers from across the country, and they make up of the 166 athletes who are here at the opening to compete in the finals. Quarterbacks will be paired and assigned to teams with skill position players. They will practice with their teammates for the first few days and eventually compete against the other squads in a seven-on-seven -seven tournament at the end of the week. There you go. There is no promised playing time. You earn it by how you engage into the process before the tournament starts. High turn, get your eyes around. So here we go. I want it to line up just like this. We need to be able to be ready to throw this right now. Right, this is 100% of the time inside out. Oh! We're asking them to kind of read plays like an NFL quarterback. And so we've walked through it, we've talked through it, they've got playbooks, and we try to do everything we can so they can know what they're doing. So when they step on that opening field, they can go out and let it fly. That's pretty nice, huh? Ooh. There's not much separation. We're all really good quarterbacks. My goal is ultimately be the best quarterback here. I kind of just have to establish myself and just make sure that, you know, when I leave here, people know my name. That's in. He was in. You're around the best of the best in the country. You got to figure out a way to be better than the next person. But just to be around these guys is really cool, and I'm definitely going to make the most out of this opportunity. It is balls to the wall for six straight days, so strap it on. Be ready to go. The opening rolls on. The Elite 11 quarterbacks are joined at practice by NFL royalty. Today, in our presence, we have the greatest wide receiver that ever played this game. All-time leader in receptions, receiving yards, touchdowns. 197 touchdowns? 22,895 yards. 208 touchdowns. Hey, who threw you 206? Back you did, you did, you, yeah. It was an unreal experience. Jerry Rice being one of the greatest receivers and just talking to us about hard work and heart. I wanted to be the greatest football player to ever play the game. And I was not the most talented. I was not the fastest. What I had, it was here. For these young players who are the elite athletes, if they can start to learn examples at this age, what it really takes to separate yourself, it can end up being something so impactful that it changes their trajectory for the rest of their career in a three or four day weekend up here in Oregon. I'm getting ready to get busy right now. They ain't seen nothing like this, I'm telling you. It was really cool to meet him. He's probably the greatest receiver ever, and uh, definitely won't forget that. That was kind of cool getting to hear his perspective on things, too. And then uh, I actually threw him a route. That was kind of cool. I think just being here at this camp is the next level. Now these guys can go out and they can showcase what they can do. So, you know, I think these guys are excited about the opportunity and uh, I think they're ready for the next level. It feel good when you chillin' on top. They ain't listen when I tell them one day that I'm a pop. They don't want it. That brought back memories right there, boy. Whoa! On the next Elite 11, the players are joined by more NFL stars. No, 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 no. Four years ago, I was uh, just like you guys. And then the seven on sevens begin, and the race for MVP is on. It's just time to go have fun and just all out in the seven on seven. Crow, touchdown. Anything to get that number one spot I'm gonna do, and definitely trying to go for that MVP. That's a touchdown. Nice. Go, nice job. Go, go, go. Let's go. 